In the mid-1990s, PUD3 started planning for the deployment of automated meter reading in its service territory. Compared to data shortcomings seen by other utilities, a fiber optic network appeared to be a perfect first step towards grid modernization. In 2000, the Washington State Legislature gave PUDs the authority to provide wholesale telecommunications services. Also in 2000, the PUD began building its fiber optic network to all substations it maintains so it could monitor its electricity distribution system and provide data connections for PUD staff throughout the PUD's service territory. By 2001, PUD3 and its internet service providers connected the top 20 Mason County businesses to the fiber optic network, giving them the opportunity to leverage fiber optic technology with extremely fast internet and data networks. Over time, the PUD has added monitoring functions to its fiber optic network, including supervisory and data acquisition, or SCADA, and security. The PUD also uses its fiber optics to maintain its own data circuits and telecommunications lines for telephone, video monitoring, and outage management systems. By operating its own network, the PUD doesn't have to buy circuits from someone else, saving nearly $1 million each year. In 2003, PUD3 acquired a radio tower site on Kamilchi Peak. The site houses radio equipment for the PUD and public safety, cell phone antennas, and for broadcast radio. Mason PUD3 is a founding member of the Northwest Open Access Network. It's an organization with a mission of bringing high-speed telecommunication services to underserved communities for utility uses and for use by their constituents. NOANETS connected all schools in Washington State, including Mason County, to a high-speed fiber optic network. NOANET has also facilitated increased cell tower construction in Mason County, thanks to the availability of fast, flexible data networks. Working with its internet service providers, PUD3 has connected homes, neighborhoods, and businesses to its fiber optic network. There's a great demand for faster speeds, higher capacity circuits, and rural access to broadband services as Mason County continues to grow. People here have been telling us they want broadband. Lots of them. A broadband expo in 2015 brought hundreds of county residents to the Johns Prairie Operations Center to let us know they wanted service, and they wanted it sooner than later. Grid modernization is in full swing in Mason County. PUD3's fiber optic network is living up to its promise of the 1990s by transporting secure, high-speed data from automated meters and other equipment in the field for a more efficient, cost-effective way of operating the utility. How do we know demand is strong in Mason County for faster, affordable, and dependable broadband? We asked. A scientifically valid survey, along with an informal online survey, confirmed what we knew in our bones. Mason County residents had the need for speed, a dependable service, at an affordable price. As a part of the survey, we also asked how residents would like to see how to pay for bringing broadband to their neighborhoods. That's why we're here, and that's the question we need to answer.